Hello Libra. This is going to be your mid-month love reading. I hope you're doing amazing. My name is Amber. If you're new, um, thank you for being here. If you're returning, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button if you want to know when another video will be posted. I also do private readings. Links in the description box below or you can go to the website up above. I'll be more than happy to help you with that. Um, we do have social media now, Facebook and Instagram, where I post uh, the, the new transits, new moon, full moon, um, weekly transits, and all other information that will help you with your spiritual journey. Um, also, we do have a Patreon where you can get all these videos super early, and there's bonus content there, plus everything I, I ever post goes on there like a one-stop shop situation. Um, please remember if this doesn't resonate, it is a general reading, so check your moon, rising, or Venus, Venus especially, because this has to do with love, and we will jump right in, you guys. Okay, so Spirit, what do you have for Libra when it comes to love in mid-October? Smoke and mirrors, shining through. Gemini and I had that card too, and body and soul. Oh my gosh. Okay, Libra. Um, someone is giving you information, providing you information, providing you with new feelings, providing you with an understanding um i feel like you are fighting new beginnings i don't know why but i feel like you are or you're finding something out because i feel like information is coming to you okay libra um and what's interesting is i feel like you're having a tough time balancing the new information that's coming in versus the old information that you have had um, it's really important though <laughs> for you to find balance in this because I feel like it's about the complete cycle because they're showing me the cycle, the circle. Um, it's like more information for you to gain more wisdom and more knowledge. But what happened, what's happening is they're talking about comfortability. So it's time for you to break through some sort of comfortability in your life now. It's like your body, your actions, what you're doing in the world needs to communicate with what spirit is trying to provide to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's time for you to walk through that portal, you know? It's 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 kind of like a spiritual portal and it's time for you to walk through it and not be afraid and not be scared and to just walk through it. Um I feel like you've protected yourself for quite some time here or kept yourself hidden in some sort of way and it's time for you to assess the portal situation and I feel like something's coming into your life or some information that's hitting you in a way um, that's either um, sparking something in your emotions and your energy that that is telling you that it's okay for you to open up. It's okay for you to let this knowledge or this wisdom in because it's going to help you grow, okay? Um, yeah, it's just about opening up your heart, Libra, okay? Leave the past in the past and walk forward. I'm not saying that you need to go in thinking that everything's going to be sunshine and roses, but you do need to start giving love a chance. You know, I feel like it's a big part of your personality to have someone to love, to have someone to care for. And it's 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 important that you have yourself open to that. It almost gives me the feeling of you being very, not analytical, but sticking with things that were already working with you and not opening up to new journeys or new information coming in from spirit okay Oof. we're coming out strong huh
Bottom of the deck, we have share the love. Exactly. You have a reason to celebrate. You have a reason to be happy. I do feel like spirit is trying to provide you with what you desire. You just have to see it that way. You have to look at it. You have to feel it. Yeah, you're having trouble. I keep getting fives everywhere in my mind. And that's about power struggles, letting your guard down, believing, okay? Um, there's an emphasis on past relationships that are coming back into you. You're thinking about a connection, if you're going to have that connection with someone else. If you're going to be connected to someone in the way that you have been connected in the past or the way that you view love, okay? And that's that's become your state of being. And the thing is, you have so much desire inside of you that you need to be able to spread it out into the universe, you know? So what is meant to come to you can come to you or it can be there for you the truth is that you need to change your perspective i feel like you're trying to keep yourself safe so everything looks iffy everything needs to be analyzed to you you know um it's kind of like getting out of your comfort zone making that step is very scary expressing yourself so you're trying to gain a perspective before you say what you need to say or do what you need to do. And I'm getting like that can keep you stuck. Okay. Yes, all these memories from the past that's keeping you trapped to seeing what's around you. And what's interesting is they're not showing me what's around you because it's not one person in particular. It's like you need to be open to the idea of love so when it comes in, you can be ready. But you have to get yourself trapped in this cycle that you're in about analyzing people, analyzing situations, catching up on someone else, and figure, uh, going back in old relationships and, and thinking about those. It's, it's time to let that go because I feel like that's been your book when it comes to love. You know, that's been your go-to. And that's not going to work now. So it's about putting the past to rest now and standing up for what you believe in, which is love, right? But you have to get the structure of what you think it's going to look like or how it's going to be out of your mind. When you do that, you won't have a need to analyze because you don't have anything to compare it to. And I feel like they want you to be open to that, okay? The key to being open here in the future is because something's going to come in for you. And you have to have that, that right mindset in order to receive it. You know, you shouldn't wait on... The big story here, Libra, is you shouldn't wait on someone to come in to change your mind. You need to already be in that mind space to kind of attract that energy to you. Okay? They're saying to me, everybody's moving on. So if this is people from the past, they, they're moving on, they're living their life, and it's time for you to do so as well. I just feel like everybody needs to move on. The conflict here is seeing the new beginning and the new normal for you. You know, this is the new normal. Accept the new normal and then realize that this is a starting point point now for the rest of your life when it comes to love you know okay yeah uh you're you're spending too much time in your environment and what it is that you do see so if you don't have love if you're feeling lonely you're spending way too much time thinking about it and then being like, well, nobody is around me, so that means something. And then diving deeper into the rabbit hole that you don't need to do because it's not getting you anywhere. It's like you're giving your power up to your the passions inside of you, but nothing's being released out into the, the ethers, 
right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they're showing me like hormones. It's like you're suppressing your relationship hormones, if that makes any sense. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Let's be real. So, we have the Seven of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Moon in Reverse. It's time for you to choose and be logical about what it is that you're putting out into the world and how you're using your efforts, okay? You have enough tools. I feel like you have enough knowledge. You're at a sense of maturity that you can make the decisions that you can, you need to make. The thing is, you have to see beyond being afraid of the future because that's where you're overanalyzing because that's that keeps you safe. So... It's like the truth is trying to be revealed to you. And the truth is in yourself. You know what you want. You know what you desire. You feel it inside. But you need to be able to express that on the outside. So I feel like that's what you're going to be working on. Okay. Then we have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Will of Fortune. Yeah. Your passions and desires to be happy are very strong during this time. And I feel like that's why you're thinking so much because you're thinking about not what you could have, but what you don't have now or what you, what's in your possession now. And that that's what needs to change. So the Wheel of Fortune is telling me that everything you're putting out into the world, like I said, thank you for the confirmation, is attracting what's next for you. So if you're overanalyzing, looking at things negatively, that's what you're going to bring into your life. You're going to attract that nothing back to you. So it's about assessing what that is, right? Um, I do feel like someone in your past, for some of you, is really happy. They're moving on. They're finding their happiness. Their life is changing. And somehow that's affecting you to think about where you stand. But everybody's journey is different. Also, what you see on social media is not always 100% true, okay? Or what you think is happening is not always 100% true, Um so they're going through their own changes as well with the will of fortune being here, okay? But they but they're centered around their own happiness and I feel like they want to show everybody that they're happy too, but they're going through changes as well, okay? So, ace of swords, hierophant in reverse. Page of swords in reverse. Ace of coins, tower, and the ace of cups. Okay, first thing they're telling me is for you to be clear on that a relationship is ended, that the ties with that situation is done. It didn't end the way that you wanted it to, and that's fine, but you need to stop watching that person, thinking about it, analyzing, focusing on it. I feel like it's making you self-conscious um, and inhibiting those hormones that I, was, that I was telling you about, okay? It's time to put it to a rest and fight for yourself, to make the choice for yourself, to step forward for yourself, okay? You know, it's like grab opportunities, be ready, be willing, and you can't do that when you're overanalyzing because you're going to talk yourself out of whatever you're doing, okay? Some of you, um, yeah, I feel like someone you're dealing with is just, you feel like they're on this new journey and it's taking you down, you don't like the feeling. But I feel like you need to know that they're really going through it, okay? It's not perfect. It's not perfect. But as soon as you change your mindset about this situation, doors will open for you. You'll be happier about your career choices and make the right choices for you. And you'll be open up to more opportunities of love. So it's, it's a win-win for you, but you just have to kind of get your mind transitioned into that space to not focus on what you already have around you but anticipate what it is that you could have yeah life is not happening around you right it's happening for you you just have to be a participant of it this is not the way you thought it was going to be but it's what's perfect for you okay so you have to let go of the idea of what you think it's supposed to look like or what you think perfection is going to be. Okay. Five of Wands, Lovers in Reverse, and Three of Cups. Yeah, this is about changing your perspective. So to me, they're talking about power struggles. Um, so I feel like it's going to be a bit of back and forth, listening to your intuition and seeing what you do have and trying to marry those two things together, right? 
But what's happening is you're going to notice that what you want inside is not being radiated with what's happening around you. So that indicates right there that there needs to be change. Okay. Uh, I feel like there needs to be more collaboration and celebration about the future, about what's to come instead of what is. That it, it you know, okay. Okay, Libra, let's get into your chakras. Discovery. Yeah, you're discovering new foundations for yourself and a new way to move forward. So again, leave your in a like not inhibitions. Leave your fears and that scarcity mentality in the past, okay? Because I feel like things are trying to blossom around you, but if you're not connected to see something in a more beautiful and higher perspective, then you're you're going to miss out cuz you're just going to dive deep into your fears and anxieties, okay? For your person or around you, we have renewal cuz this feel more this feels more like around you. So, um, yeah, someone that you were dealing with or that you're thinking about, they're starting their life over. They're connecting more with their spirit, let's say that. But I feel like spirit is trying to guide you in the... Like, mm, look at them and their come up as a reason for you to have a come up. As a reason for you to, to understand how important a spiritual growth and spiritual development is for you, you know? I feel like everything you want is in the future for you. You just have to be on that wavelength with it. Impasse, yeah. You need to deal with your um, leaving the here and now behind. And assess your desires and your wants and let that push you forward, right? So I feel like your sacral chakra needs to be worked on. And your base chakra. Because with despondence, it's causing you to not see or not listen to your intuition. Because your intuition guides you to your next step. If we didn't have our intuition, we would just all stay in the same area that we've always been in. Okay? Alright, Libra. I love you. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.